Hey Aries, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. In, in those cross watching in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you for the month ahead. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep mindful if you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email is listed below. Okay, so Nine of Cups is a wish come true. You are getting something that you've wanted. Uh, you're getting something that you've been desiring, hoping and holding out for. And it finally manifests. Um, this, is, this is also like a stroke of good luck, I feel like. There could be some good news um, that you're going to receive. Or um, some sort of fated encounter or some sort of fated circumstances. But I definitely feel like this is like woven into your destiny. This is something that is meant for you. The Nine of Cups is also, I feel like you could, um, you could be presenting something. So maybe something that you've successfully finished and completed and you're now presenting it to someone. This could be a pitch or you're submitting something. It could be a contest or a competition you enter. Um, and it's something that you're very proud. You're at a stage in your life where whatever this accomplishment or achievement was, it was something very personal to you and it's something you're very proud of. Now with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like she's urging you to take better care of yourself or she's urging you to not forget, you know, to look after yourself um, and give yourself the love and the attention that you deserve. This is also, I feel like, a very abundant energy. The Queen is very nurturing, um, very caring. She's very loving, loyal and supportive. Um, so I feel like there's this abundance of manifestation or abundance of growth, abundance of opportunities that are working out for you. But it's also a reminder for those of you who have been neglecting yourself in some way, it's a reminder to take better care of yourself and um, to do more of the things that nourish your soul, to do more of the things that bring you joy and bring you happiness. Um, also, don't forget to look after the ones who, you know, look after you. Um, be there for people that are there for you. So, you know, the love that you give out, the love that you give is the love that comes back to you. I also feel like there's something here that's very um, important to you that I feel like you're really giving it a lot of your attention. So it could be like a project, it could be an ID, anything that you start right now it has the like you've got the Midas touch you've got the magic touch and anything you start right now is going to be very abundant okay it's going to be very successful and it's going to be um something that is going to bring you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and something that you're going to feel very accomplished over um, the two of swords is i feel like it's like don't get in your own way you know don't block your blessings and especially because the two of swords rules the mental realm, right? It governs mental energy. It's important to pay close attention to your mind, um, to your mindset and, you know, your mental attitudes, what you believe about yourself, what you believe about the things that you deserve um, or the things that you don't deserve. So pay very close attention to your beliefs because eventually they are manifestation manifesting in your actions. So don't block your blessings. If you're wondering why you may want something, or why you you know have this idea for something and deep down you feel like it's it's a great idea it's a great project or a great business idea but then something stops you it's your mentality behind it so and that mentality could it's like a mental programming and it's kind of been blocking you for a long time if not most of your life so it's definitely time to pay really close attention to your mindset, what you believe about yourself and what you believe about this idea. Because there's something here that seems to indicate in the energy. It's like you've got 
the potential for a great project or the potential to be someone really successful in what it is that you want, but then you stop. So the Two of Swords is about taking action as well, right? Because um, all you have to do to get started is first is to take the first step, whether or not you think you're ready. The Two of Swords is also like this blocked energy, and some of you could have a very closed off energy about you, like you just may feel a little off, your vibration feels a little bit off, your vibe feels a little bit off, check in with yourself, there's something going on emotionally, internally, see what's upsetting you, see what you know disturbances you have going on, see what's triggering you, there may be some there may be some old pain that uh, still resides within you and it's bringing up stuff, it's bringing up stuff from the past, so temperance is asking you to heal, okay? There's this alchemy with the temperance card and it's asking you to heal whatever is still hurting or heal whatever is still very much unaddressed. So even if you think it no longer hurts or bothers you or no longer disturbs you, it clearly does in some way because this could be the very thing that's blocking you. I notice how she's got the blindfold wrapped around um, her eyes, so she's not really seeing it. There's something that you're doing or you're thinking that ultimately is creating so much blockage in your life. You know, whether it's in relationships or with your finances or with the future dreams and goals that you have. Ultimately, I feel like you potentially could be getting in your own way. So it's time to reset that mental programming. It's time to reset those beliefs you had about yourself temperance is also an energy where you're being asked to you know heal um, and it's this very healing cathartic very therapeutic energy you're being asked to heal any pain any wounds from the past that are coming up right now they want your attention the reason why they're coming up right now is they want to be healed, they want to be fixed, they want to be addressed, so they want your attention in order for that to happen. There's also something that I feel like you're creating here, um, and it could be like an idea that is brewing, it could be you, you actually physically could be creating something, um, but there's something that feels like, feels like magic, it feels like alchemy, it's, I don't know, you could be creating a product a product and putting it out there it could be a, a project it could be a business idea it could be a, you know a piece of work but there's something that you're creating it feels very it feels like it's going to touch people in um in a big way it also feels like it's something that speaks to you and speaks to your soul so do more of the things that you feel like you can express yourself through things that you feel like are essentially an extension of you I mean you also have the four of swords which is a wounded soldier that lies at rest and it's funny how that comes after temperance there's definitely something to indicate that you are hurt or you have been hurt in the past but you may never really have taken the time to heal it or to address it maybe you're someone who's pushed it deep down inside um, you know and it's your mental programming it's the conditioning with which you believed in maybe you were brought up in an environment where you would you know uh, you were told not to discuss your feelings or it wasn't healthy to cry or you know something like that so what you did is instead of addressing it instead of healing these uh, this hurt maybe you told yourself and you pretended that it wasn't there and that everything is okay but it's coming up now and I do think it's the very thing that is getting in your way so there's something that i feel like that you should be accomplishing or you want to accomplish and you could be a great success at it you could be the three of pentacles where i feel like when you get out of your way you're going to be this guy here you know he's the one on the podium that people are looking up to that people are aspiring they're asking for advice you know how you got there how you did it um or you know how it's done so Four of Swords, if you can take the time right now and don't feel like you need, you know, just because you need to carve out time to heal and to address this, that it's going to set you back. It's going to propel you forward. It's going to do so much wonders for you. It's going to be so healing and cathartic and just so, it's going to be this state of purging and cleansing and it's going to help you move forward in life. 
So just because you need to take the time now to stand still and sit with whatever it is, it doesn't mean you're going to fall behind. It's going to propel you forward. You have to give this time though. You need to give it time and attention because there is something here that is part of your, um, it, it is pain because swords are a weapon, right? They can be used to inflict pain. And because swords governs mental energy, as we spoke about, it's something with, to do with your mind and your belief about yourself or about what happened or about the situation. That's unfortunately impacted your mind in a negative way. And you're carrying that belief with you. And it's the very thing that I feel like is hurting you in the long run. Four of Cups energy. Um, I just want to mention that the four has number four has come up twice. So pay attention to the number four. It potentially could be a message, especially if you're seeing a lot of fours or four of something everywhere. Some of you could be like seeing or you could see. And it's a sign, especially if you do see like during the course of today or the next four days, like you may see something of fours, um, like four butterflies. You know, uh, four birds could come and land on your balcony or I don't know, I just feel like something may be happening to you in terms of like an incremental four. Within the next four days or four weeks or even four months, something else could be happening for you that I feel like is going to be very significant. It's going to um, um, it's going to help you. Something that's going to I think act as a bit of a breakthrough. You're finally going to get to the place that you want to be, provided that you do that you know, you do that inner work, you do that shadow work. Um, I also feel like the Four of Cups is this energy of you not seeing something that is right in front of you. Okay, so it's like, it's the obvious, but you don't see it because it's so obvious that you dismiss it. Because you're like, it couldn't have been that obvious, but it is. I don't know if this has to do with a creative project or an endeavor. It's like it's right there in front of you. Or if the answers are there in front of you, they're within you, but you're choosing to ignore them, you know, pretend that they're not there. So something that you're not seeing, um, it could also be a sign that you're taking things for granted and maybe you need to lean more into an attitude of gratitude um, and just be more present, be more present and mindful. You could be too much in your head about things, which makes sense, right? Wrapped up too much in your head that you're letting the present moment go by. Um, so, you know, get out of your head if that is you and especially stop worrying or being anxious. Like, I feel like this is your sign that everything is going to work out. Okay. You just need to take better care of yourself, especially like your uh, mental health. The three of pentacles, I think like you potentially could be asking someone for either advice or guidance on how to do something, or you could be like, pursuing further studies, taking up a course. I feel like there's a skill you want to learn. And so you're going to, like the student goes to the master. But then when you, it's something that you're going to be so passionate about and you're going to get really good at it, that then the student will become the master. And I feel like people are going to be going to you. So to give you an example, like for example, you could start up a channel and at first, you know, like a YouTube channel and at first you may be really, slow um but then and you know you take your time um you build it up um and then all of a sudden you have this breakthrough right uh you know your channel grows views are coming in and then like people might be coming out reaching out emailing you asking you how you did it i don't know if you guys can hear that in the background there's a lot of kookaburras um laughing in the background but yeah, Three of Pentacles, I feel like, yeah, you're going to get really good at something, something that you're going to really apply yourself to. It could be a business, you know, idea that you start out and then it just grows and people are going to come to you and ask you for advice and how you did it. You could potentially end up writing books on, on whatever this is. Um, you could be running courses, teaching, running classes. So yeah, I think in the beginning, you seek the advice but then as it turns out the tables turn and people are going to come to you seeking advice and seeking your help the strength card i really feel like it's about you you know strengthening yourself improving yourself so i think 
the focus is like your mind, your mental health, your physical health, like your, your strength, um, your resilience. I feel like it's also a reminder for you that you have the strength to persevere, you have the strength to do this. Uh, don't give up just because you think the time that something is going to take, right? The time and the effort is going to take. I mean, things take time, things take effort, you know? Great, uh, good things take time, great things take even longer. So don't be put off by that. Um, also lean on your strength is a message that I get. Uh, make sure that you like tame those disturbances. Um, anything that leaves you feeling a little... Anything that's disturbing, agitating, irritating your energy now, I feel like it's trying to tell you something. So you need to look into it and tame those like inner disturbances. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, subscribing. Bye for now.